Hey candle lover, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be concentrating on some of the flowers and herbs that I'm currently using in order to reach that nice, warm, and cozy candle look. Alright, so let's jump right into it. Starting right over here, we have some monk fruit. Monk fruit is native to South, uh, Southeast Asia. The juices of the monk fruit is, uh, are typically used as a sweetener. I love the warm color of the flower. Um, this nice burnt or orange, it just looks so beautiful on the candle. Um, right over here, we have some rose petals. Rose petals by nature, they contain vitamins and anti uh, antioxidants. Uh, they help smooth the skin, they help hydrate the skin cells. For my usage, I love how beautiful it looks on the candle. Um, depending on how much I place on it, it just always has that beautiful, nice burnt look and it matches well with the monk fruit as it has the yellows uh, tones as well. Right over here, we have some lavender. Um, I have mixed lavender there's a mix here so i have mixed uh some lavender i have mixed some corn flowers and i have mi mixed lavender but the blue the extra blue lavender so concentrating on lavender uh lavender is known for it's used for many different things um, you can use it as a decorative piece you can uh, use it for your skin as it also contains some benefits there some people use the extraction of the oil uh, for headaches uh, to calm them down um, for anxiety and things of that sort me myself i love how it looks once again on my candles aesthetically uh the blues and the combination of both they tend to pop and add such a beautiful uh, uh such a beautiful look overall right over here we have some chamomile chamomile is one of my favorites um, it's known for many, many benefits. Uh, tons of people use it um, in a tea format and uh, it's used to treat your skin, hay fever, inflammation, muscle spasm, uh, some menstrual cramps as well, insomnia. I mean, it just has so many benefits, um, the plant itself. I myself, I love to incorporate it within my candles. I especially love that yellow color, um, that warmth once again, just together. It looks beautiful. It adds such a beautiful and um, such a nice tone overall. Right over here, moving on, we have our oranges um, and our yellows kind of mixed in. So we have some marigold. This is the marigold right over here. And for the marigold um, petals, um, these uh, petals were used a lot by the ancient uh, Greeks. They use the petals uh, to decorate and for many purposes like makeup, uh, food coloring, and even some fabric dyeing. So that's a pretty cool one. And then right over here, we have some lily flowers. Lily flowers are also so beautiful. They um, come in different colors. They have orange uh, flowers. I believe they have some white flowers as well. They come in many different colors these particularly are orange and i'm using it this season the season of fall once again to add that nice warmth right over here we have some eucalyptus um leaves eucalyptus leaves uh they truly are an accent to 
any room um many people use them to decorate um they use them for weddings they use them uh just to add some nice greenery to the area tons of people also burnt the leaves um and just to get that nice uh scent that musky uh scent which i've done that before and it's actually very nice um it's a very nice smell then right over here we have some lemongrass this one i actually uh got from my father-in-law's uh, backyard so i love to add that too to my uh peppermint or eucalyptus candles and once again they look so pretty and these right over here are some pink uh rose petals and um, similar to these right over here, these are also rose petals. Um, they just add another look. They pop and look so beautiful. Um, right over here, last but certainly not least, is my little uh, dust. And I like, this is uh, simply a combination of some rose petals, some chamomile as well. And I just grind them together on the coffee grinder. And what I like about that is that it gives um, this nice little powder. And in turn, I love to, it achieves this look right over here. So as you can see, some of the flowers that I named down here are incorporated into this candle right over here. So here you have the lilies, here you have the marigold, you definitely have the dust combination and you have some rose buds right over here, some rose petals. And this wood dough, um, which is part of our new fall collection, also has many of the flowers incorporated right over here we have some lavender um we also have some chamomile petals you can see them there clearly again some lilies some marigold um we have some green here which is lemongrass and um other flowers yeah so it's just a nice combination of each of these right over here well Thank you so much for watching. This completes our video. Stay tuned so that you can see how um, my other candles come out. Bye.